Hi, and welcome to this video on UiPath. In this video, we're going to take a look at regular expression, or regex. And specifically, we're going to try and extract some table data from a PDF file. I've run into this problem myself a couple of times, so I thought I'd share my solution. If you like it, don't hesitate to uh, hit the subscribe link and click the notification bell. And of course, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Let's get started. Right, so over here on the right, I have a folder, and it has two files in it an invoice PDF and an invoice uh, Excel worksheet. If we open the invoice PDF file, this is the data that we want to extract. We have uh, in our fake invoice, we have some address information, and then we have uh, a table containing the data that we want to extract. We can also see that page one has a footer at the bottom, and then the data continues on page two. And uh, in total, there are 15 uh, rows in this table that we want to extract. So how do we do that? Well, we go into UiPath Studio and we search for PDF activities. And we can see here that we actually have quite a few down here. These are a part of this package called UiPath PDF activities that I have installed. So if you don't have, if you don't have that, you'll need to do it. The activity that we're interested in is this one, read PDF text. And if we drag that into our sequence, we can define what PDF file is it we want to read from. And I'll just paste in the name of our PDF file here. And it will then extract the contents of that PDF into a text string. So we'll create a variable here called PDF content. Right, and we can see that appears here in our variables pane. And that's of type string. And then we can just for fun, we can write that out to a text file. And the text we want to write into the text file is, of course, the PDF content variable. And the text file name I'll just paste in. So when I run this, we should get a new text file over here on the right. And we do. So if I open that, we have our address information and we have the table data down here. And we even have the page one footer sitting in between two rows of data here. So let's see if we can extract this into something meaningful. I'm going to copy a couple of lines here into my clipboard and then close the file. And then we'll go back into studio and I'll just delete this write text activity for now. And then we want to use an activity called matches. And this activity basically takes a few inputs. Uh, one is a text string that we want to search through. And the other most important uh, property is the pattern. And this is the sort of the search term with which we want to extract data from the total uh, text string. So our input for this uh, activity is going to be our PDF content. And then the pattern. Well, I'm not uh, a black belt uh, regular expression guy, so I'll click this configure regular expression button right here. And that opens the regex builder in the studio. And that contains three parts, basically. A test text box here at the top, where we can paste in or write uh, some data that we want to sort of try and select some things out of. Then it has the, the builder part right here in the middle, where we can add more and more criteria as we go. And then at the bottom, we have the full expression that is being generated by the criteria that we add up here in the middle. So what we want to do is paste in the lines that I just copied from our text file. So we have something to sort of test with. So just by coincidence, uh, this actually matches the default uh, criteria that is uh, already present here in our builder. We have ABC Sporting Goods, which is our customer. And uh, well, the ABC uh, literal criteria matches part of that uh, name. Right, so what we want to do is we want to build a set of criteria down here that will select a table row as one match. And then we'll, we'll uh, process that match afterwards and split it into the different fields. But right now we just want to be able to select an entire line and we need to add more criteria to do that. So uh, the first criteria right now we need is to find the product ID number. And to do that, we select digit and that changes our regular expression down here, and it's uh, it needs to be uh, at least one digit. It could be more, but it needs to be at least one. You can see here that this product ID has three digits in it, and this one has four. So right now, it, it's actually finding these product IDs, but it's also finding the zip code and the street address, and it's finding some of the pricing information. And right now, we just want to find basically the product ID. So to isolate that, we add another criteria, and that will be a white space because the product ID is followed by a white space. So now we have two criteria, and that will select all uh, matches in our text that meets these criteria. Now, 
the, the street address and the, the zip code also matches that criteria. And actually the, the, the cents part of the, the amounts here also match uh, that criteria. But we can see here in the, uh, in the table data that actually after the, the product ID, we have two white spaces. So we can go out here and say, okay, we want to find stuff that is a digit of any length and then has two white spaces after it. And we'll change that. And now we can see that we actually only hit on the, the table data. We're still getting a few other hits here at the back of the, the, the table row, but we'll add more criteria to select this as one big um, sort of block of text. And I'll speed up the video while I do that. So if you want to learn more about regular expressions as such, I'll put a couple of links in the description below for some nice videos about regex. So uh, let me finish up the expression and we'll take a look at it when, when I'm done. So now I've built my expression. As you can see down here, these expressions can get quite uh, quite complex, and this is a simple one, believe it or not. But what we can do now is we, we actually have uh, an expression that will match the entire uh, table row as one match, and we'll save our expression. And uh, this uh, matches activity that we just configured. We need to configure one more property on that, and that's the result. So I'll press Control k and I'll create a variable called found uh, matches. And that is basically a collection of match objects. And the match class has a property called value that we'll look at in just a second. So let's inspect what we found. So I'm going to drag in a for each activity here. And we want to iterate through the collection of found matches. And in order to get the correct uh, properties and such, we want to say that the type argument is of type match and we can find find it here in the system dot text regular expressions uh, namespace we have the object class sorry i'll just drag this into the screen click ok and now we we know that these found matches that we're iterating through are of the correct type so what we could do now is we could uh, what should we do we'll do a message box and we will write out the value of each match to that message box. So if we run this file now, we should get a pop-up with the first line, uh, second line, and so forth. All of the lines that we have in our in our order, right? So, <clears throat> what else would we like to do? Well, we're going to create a data table. So I'll drag in a build data table object here, and we will then add a number of fields to our, our data table. Delete this one, and I'll call, call the first column. I'll call that and now we have a place to store this data that we're extracting. So now that we have the data table defined, we also want to give it uh, a variable to store the data table in. So we'll create one called dt. Um, We'll just call it invoice, and we get a DT, uh, DT invoice data table uh, variable down here. And then we can try and add a data row to that uh, data table by using the add data row activity. That needs to know which data table it should go into. And the data row that we want to add, the simplest way, or one way at least, is to, uh, to, to give it an array. And right now, we'll just try and give it a simple array of, uh, of some information here. And uh, what we can then do is we can take this data table that we just built and add it, um, add it one line to. We can write that to our Excel workbook. So I'll do it like this. Give it a file name, which sheet should it add it to, and then uh, the name of the data table. So if we look at the invoice uh, worksheet here, it's empty. I'll cl close it up again, and then we'll uh, run the file. And we have to go through all of these again, because I forgot to disable it. 
and with a little luck inside our worksheet we now have this information right so instead of just writing one line into this uh, worksheet what we want to do is we'll actually um, let me just zoom out a little bit we will move the building of the data table up to before this for each loop and then instead of writing out the message box we're going to put the add data row into the loop and then instead of adding this sort of static array we want to add the value of each item but what we need to do first is because we want to split the value uh, the text value we have in each item we want to split it that into separate objects in order to get an array that we can insert into our data row so basically what we'll do is we'll take our item value and we will uh, replace any double space inside of that with uh, we'll just do an underscore and then after that we will split by that underscore character and that will give us a, an array that will then be inserted into the fields in our data table so if i now again we check out the data table we'll, we'll even just empty it click save so now we have an empty worksheet here and if i run the automation again it should just take a second and open the invoice again we can now see that we have all of our data from the invoice inside of here and we can see that we have 15 rows as we expected so this is not a perfect solution but it's an example of how you can quite easily extract pdf data into whatever format you need by using regular expressions and there's certainly limitations to this demo uh, one example i could uh, could mention is if the product names had spaces uh, with uh, Bluetooth, for example, uh, this product name would be a little bit more complex to find using the regular expression. We would need to take into account that there could be some white spaces in the product name. You know, there are tons of other exceptions that could be uh, coming into play. But this is just uh, an example of how you can approach the whole problem of extracting data out of the PDF. So if you like the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post more videos. Thank you so much.